Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another podcast, another broadcast, another frogcast of the Flummery. I don't know what that last one was, but it's in there and it's too late. My fellow Flummus, this is Scuba Steve, by the way, my fellow Flummus Frosty. Hello, how's it going? <laughs> and fellow Flummus Lance. Yeah. Flavor rink. The flavoring. Sorry, I had to throw that in there because you did it last time and I yeah. thought it was funny. So, And I didn't know if you wanted your real name out there or not. It's fine. All right. I'm going to be a little bit of a ghost in this one. <laughs> I'm going to be the, the ghost hit in the music. The ghost in the machine. Because <laughs> I'm a little down you're, weathered. You're ailing, dude. That's not good. Not like a beer ailing. Just, no. Just like... Right. Not A L E. <laughs> oh, very good. A I L. Playing words. You're even sharper than I am, and you're yeah. the one that's suffering yeah. today. So. Mm, I don't want a beer. No. Right? You already have a beer. Oh. Yeah. Look at that. He's a Boy Scout. Pop. Pop. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> so it's the post-holiday podcast. Uh, yeah. Looks like everyone has survived. Yeah. Um, we so, missed last week's. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm saying this is the first one. That's right. The <laughs> best. <laughs> the <laughs> best part is. Go ahead. Yeah. The best part is we just don't, it doesn't matter because it's not like time, it's sensitive yes, to do it. Yes, this is true, yes. <laughs> we won't do too much about the holidays, but we can have some pretty funny things well, going our, on. Our providers are breathing down our necks to produce more. Mm -hmm. so. <laughs> yep. Is that what that was? Yeah. They, uh, they told me, like, um, get on that podcast, otherwise uh, funding's not going to be there anymore. <laughs> the funding. <laughs> oh, that'd be sweet. Mm. <laughs> It's more like funning and not funding. Right. There you go. It will always be funning. Mm -hmm. Smiles are free. Always be funning Steve, to me. Steve still hasn't seen Rogue One yet. I haven't. Oh, I feel how so did you left get out. screwed out of seeing that uh, today, by the way? You know, I'm not even going to go into it because there's right, people I right. can't talk about that I need to talk about <laughs> because of this disappointment that I have experienced. <laughs> so I'm still... You're not, still talk, you're not talking about a neighbor of mine, are you? No. No? No. Oh. Okay. <laughs> no, all of your, that was nice, any so, of your neighbors would be like, right no uh, what the fuck no i don't have any neighbors I, in this podcast i know what lance is up to he, he tried to blindside me and i got it <laughs> Been nice blinded by science. <laughs> science oh man so did anyone break their resolution yet day two into the into the deal has anyone squashed it uh, I know better than to make a resolution. Right. Good you job. Made, you made your resolutions before the New Year. I'm resolved to be in constant decline as a human being. Oh, uh, <laughs> a work in progress. Yeah. Cut, you cut out pop from drinking pop, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. I yeah. Did, well, that was uh, like five months ago. Yeah, but, so. you, but you broke it when you saw Rogue One, which is fine. It was like a little... It was a treat. Yep. Mm -hmm. I got a treat and I was sick the next day because I had a 72 ounce. Oh. Uh, it was a... Dr. Pepper. Well, oh, you, oh my God! Well, you know, oh, the, you know the glorious. Okay, so oh. if you get a large now, it's not the same as a large in 1982. No, yeah. Like a small is like a large. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Especially at Burger King. Yeah, it's fucking ginormous. Like you get yeah. a large now, and it's <laughs> it's like 10 liters it's, of cola. Yeah, it should come on wheels. Yeah. Yeah. Liter it's cola. huge. <laughs> That's <laughs> and I can still polish one off in a movie. Oh, oh absolutely, no problem. I do it. It wasn't a problem for me then either, but I was just happy. Yeah, I'm happy to do it. Uh, just have have it as a treat, you know. Probably just for movies. Honestly, that was the only time I was craving it <laughs> recently. But um, no, and then I have <coughs> one other thing for. It wasn't like a New Year's resolution, but a very good friend of mine brought up the idea of having like a mantra word or a vision word. I guess something you use throughout the year. And I picked mine. It's control, and we won't get too serious today, so I won't talk about that too much. But. My mantra for the year is control. Did you get that tattooed on your arms? Nice. Not not control of anyone else. How did you spell it? It's With a U? <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, Quagmire. <laughs> what is he? <laughs> what, what letter is he missing on the RV when Quagmire is going to go cross, cross country? Oh, I never oh you're that. missing the O in country. He's like, no, I'm not. Okay. All right. <laughs> oh my god, that's so oh, we should on go national television. <laughs> whatever. We should go get that control tattooed on your arm. Yes. <laughs> control freak. Oh. It's really cool when you put like random words on your arms. And then you have to explain it every time. Yeah. <laughs> like if it's a cross, you don't really have to explain that. Or a, I guess if it was a sword, you might have to. 
But <laughs> I got I got um, um, butt sex and Mandarin tattooed on my arm. <laughs> See, and you always wonder. Oh, how like, many characters is that? So does some Mandarin kid have the word butt sex on his arm? You know? <laughs> <laughs> they do that stuff. Do they, do they write river and flower on themselves? The, the, the thing about that, <laughs> about butt sex right. and Mandarin, it just looks cool. Right. Yeah. right. Well, that's just it. It's a, the whole symbolism mm -hmm. stuff is, yeah. It's almost well, like you, a, see you got a little house and what is that, a yeah, goat there? It's a, it's and, a picture. Yep. It would right. be like, it's a, lot, it's a hell of a lot more classy than just putting like... Uh, anal just writing anal on your arm right in but pen that's kind of what I was getting at is you know I usually, I usually some kid over there goes anal yeah I usually, I usually do the Dude. jailed house tattoo and nice get a, oh. get a pen or a pen or something the most painful way possible yeah <laughs> you earned it though or have you ever seen the, the tattooing where they use like the bamboo with the little splints in it and then they pound it in mm. oh. it's like a long shaft and they kind of like yeah Shh. And it's that super intricate stuff yeah. too. Yeah, and then well, there's control. They got control with the thumb oh, on it, but they're it still is. like, you know. Yeah. So just enough to to get through the skin, but not make mm -hmm. them bleed. Yep. Yep. Wow. Oh. It's freaky stuff. That's how I'm gonna get my Rogue One tattoo. I don't. Nice. Why are you? Don't get a Rogue One tattoo. <laughs> I'm not. See, I can picture you with like that half <laughs> Darth Vader. You know, right down the side of your. Just cut your face yeah. in half. One side's got the mask. Yeah, you should stuff. get a face tattoo. Yeah. Perfect. We should all get. We should do that for the podcast, you guys. Let's all get face tattoos because everybody could see us. You know, we could. We could. <laughs> yeah, so stupid would that be? <laughs> all right, guys, we're here getting face tattoos, right. and it's just oh, an hour and a half. It's awesome. Oh, 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 you oh, should oh, see it. Oh. Did you just slip the needle up my nose? Yeah. <laughs> no sex. Uh, no. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> MV3. <laughs> I love it. Your go, your go to. Well, I've always wanted to be referred to as an important part of a threesome. So, with a, with three men. <laughs> I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah. As long as he's the important part. It's the principal, really. <laughs> uh, oh darn. Uh, I have a question for you. Yeah. Did, I have an idea. Do you <laughs> let's? What was your guys' favorite mm. Christmas present, and what was your least favorite? I don't have one. I I remember two presents that I got, so I can't like say which was my favorite or not. I kind of did the same. I got like two gifts, and it was like so. Yeah, if I say <laughs> well, I like that. Uh, actually, they were, it was fine. I got a nice a new shirt, and that was cool. Is it cashmere? No, it's a Henley. The sexy three buttons. Oh. You know. Did you get a did you get a men's only jacket to cover it up? No, I've had one for a long Members time. Members only. Right. Sorry. That's all right. I knew where you were headed. Yeah. <laughs> yep, mine's baby blue. Men's baby only. Baby blue. <laughs> Members only and they still sell those. You can get them on Amazon. I heard that. Get yourself some K Swiss, white K Swiss shoes mm. for the spring. Mm. And I'm wear starting. your members only jacket. You could do that. You could wear it like for three or four weeks straight. I think that's the way to go. Yeah? Yeah. Let's make it a statement. <laughs> so you got a shirt and what else? I'm trying to remember what else we got. It's really bad, isn't it? I mean, it was just, no, it was I so chaotic and over so fast. Well, we had my, my family's Christmas was done back on the 18th, so that's why I'm short-term memory loss. Not like Hanukkah? Yeah. Yeah. One less candle, I think. Mm. Um, and then we had, uh, well, we had kind of because the, the weather sucked, we <laughs> didn't go down to... 16 candles. Yeah. So, um, oh, we got a $100 uh, Home Depot gift card, so... That's awesome. Spending 100 bucks, New countertop. <laughs> Is that what you're getting with it? Yeah, I guess. Are you going to have to put yeah. it in? For upstairs? Oh, of course. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, that's why we haven't picked it up yet. For the upstairs one or the downstairs one? Upstairs. Okay. <clears throat> Pull that one out because evidently it's not working anymore. Uh, what do you mean? It's not, is it cracked? It's, <laughs> no, it's, it's not perfect. functional anymore. It's in perfect condition. It just yeah. doesn't appeal to uh, one of the two people that live in that home. So. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to tell you guys who. Uh, <laughs> the other person's not here. Right. Um, <laughs> so what's your least favorite? Did you just say one? Just uh, rang on one. <laughs> no, I, I, there were no disappointments. I'm, I uh, can't even contribute. I'm sorry. 
I really, we really don't do presents, so yeah, you know, we kind of don't need it. <laughs> the thing I got, that's was, awesome. The thing I got was a, the only present I got oh, was your guitar. No, hmm. this is my Darth Vader. Um, hmm. Your mat, rug, my rug, yeah. my rug. That was a present. A candy gave it to me. Nice. Oh, I feel bad because I was like wiping my feet on it, like like you, Darth Vader. Yeah. You know, he'll force choke you when you do that. <laughs> I'm into that. <laughs> That's why you sit between two dudes, too. Do the curly finger thing. Yeah, uh, yeah no, nothing. That's the only thing I got. I um, got... Oh, go ahead. Sorry. No. I got cash from my... My dad always gives me cash. My mom and my dad, too. So that was flipping awesome. Is that, that like a college graduation present or something? <laughs> no, it's like every year <laughs> we get cash. It's like, Yes! <laughs> So I don't have to spend, like, part of my paycheck that week or whatever, you know? Yeah, I know. It's but it's, yeah, it's, it's, he still does it. It's, I love it. And then my other favorite was my wife got me a shirt. It's kind of like an ugly sweater. Is it cashmere? No, it's mm. not. It's I think it's polyester. It and cotton. Like a blend. Yeah. So. Mm. That's the new wave. It looks like an yeah. ugly sweater, but it's a t-shirt. So, but and it's got Darth Vader on it and like snowflakes and stuff. Seriously, <laughs> and yeah, and it go. Uh, what does it say? The type on it says, "Oh, I find your lack of cheer disturbing." <laughs> <laughs> James Earl Jones. Every time nice. I see it, I think of it. That way. That's not my best impression, but yeah, that wasn't bad though. I had a little bit of a chill. Scuba, what are you drinking over there? I am drinking a uh, Odell's Mercenary. Oh. Is a double IPA. I love how you very smooth. I'm gonna just ask you every week what you're drinking. <laughs> I'll it's, make sure I'm drinking something different. It's always something different. Right. So I like the place you go in and do like a six pack with six different beers. Mm. Do you do that on occasion? That's cool. Usually, a lot of those I've already had, and it's right. like I, you know, I can't really build anything I like. You could do that with the old selfie one before it got torn. Yeah, down, right? well, yeah, and you yep. can do it just about anywhere nowadays. A lot of places have the little singles and the six packers and you build them for 12 bucks or whatever um if they're, it's funny because a lot of them they're they're on to like if they were to have three of these you could only have one in there you know because there'd be a lot of times i'd see something really good and i'm like oh i'll take make, make my own six pack because that's 12.99 versus 16.99 mm-hmm. yeah, so, so they'll like limit to one of them yeah yeah, yeah depending on the price of one exactly yeah. Booz, booze mart has that and then is that down yes. here booze mart is on robert street uh, it might oh, be yeah. booze mart two what yeah, yeah, the one they moved across this, uh, the other side of Robert Street. Oh, yeah, it's on the next other side. Uh, it's by the smoking lounge. Yeah. Used to be in the bingo. Probably, you're probably too young to remember it, Lance, but that was the old roller rink back in the day. Where Best Buy used to be? Yep. That was Saints The original West. Best Buy was yes. in. The first original Best Buy was on in West St. Paul and Robert. That was actually the second one that was in that building. I was in the first one. It was Sound of Music. It was just up the street where... Best uh, Buy? Yep, it was because it was Sound of Music at the time. Best Buy hadn't it hadn't been purchased yet, but it was it was owned uh, by Dick. Uh, just, what's his face? And if you guys don't know, his name we're is talking Dick. about Dick. the origins of Best Dick. Buy that is yeah. nationwide, right? Which will go out of business eventually too. <laughs> hey, they survived so far; they're doing good. Soon, hopefully. Yeah, I'm there's sorry. that. <laughs> All they really have to offer is TVs and like appliances, right? You know, and, and they're like maybe, a showroom, and maybe like a. a Second or third party things for your like iPhone or your, oh, yeah, your phones or yeah. your 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 GoPros or whatever. Yeah. But you kind of don't go there. go there and buy. Your, I mean, no, I'm not talking crap about it. But like, go on Amazon and buy buy your 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 stuff for that because it's like literally a third of the price of what yeah. you would get at Best Buy. Yeah, you go to Best Buy to look at what you're going to buy online. <laughs> I, you go yeah, there and you true. shop it. Sample it. Yeah, they're in the showroom. You're like, oh, that's sweet. I love it. Okay, let's go to thing, Amazon and place the order. Is this thing a piece of shit? <laughs> I don't know. It's not. Sweet. <laughs> I think I literally order something off of Amazon uh, once or twice a week. Really? Wow. Good job. That's cool. You're supporting a lot of jobs, buddy. Am I? A lot of Minnesotans. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the big distribution center down in... Oh, I see Amazon Park vans around now. Yeah. Which is kind of cool. Right. And then they, and they deliver that UPS. shit quick. Mm. Like, I, I, this is my second one of these. I ordered a third one of these zip ups. Mm-hmm. It's and, uh, he's referring to his hoodie mm-hmm. zip up. Yep. Yeah. And then what else did I order this week? I want a new. Uh, what is that? Like, who makes that? It's like an H two H. I don't know. It's probably made in China. Mm. Got it. It's uh, whatever. But I, I mean, China. A lot of some of our equipment that's on this table, I ordered from Amazon. So, oh. yep. I ordered this mic from Amazon. Ditto. I did not buy it from 
Best Buy. Oh. I'm a anti Did you? Best I thought Buy you guy. guys got it through Guitar Center. I say, I'm, I'm sorry. My did, mine did come through Guitar Center. Oh. Well. Via Amazon. Yeah, like, via or something. Amazon. <laughs> yep. Through Amazon. Yeah. So you got, you order yours online? It was, yeah, it wasn't. Uh. I don't. I don't remember now. Whatever. It was the second one I got. Yeah, because they sent you the USB one, right? They sent me the wrong one. Yeah. Mm, hate that. Completely wrong. It wasn't even close. It wasn't even a Audio Technica. It was. It was. I don't. I don't remember what brand it was, but it was not the same mic. No. It was like they put the wrong one in the box. Hmm. <laughs> was it like an anus tech? <laughs> I don't think it was an anus tech. <laughs> That's how you pronounce that. I is that what does that is that the computer? Oh, Asus. Asus. Yeah, I think I. No, um, oh, that's AD, SE, and that, it, AS, AOC or ASUS. And my but yeah. I'm like, oh, an Asus or an Asus. I said. Is that a computer like, or monitor? It's, uh, it's a, it was a laptop we were talking yeah. about. I'm oh. like, oh, an Asus. Are those any good? And of course, he's like, it's pronounced. Asus. I'm like, come on, you don't know that. Whatever. I don't know. <laughs> Dude, you mean like Jesus? Like, yeah. Like, Is this part of Greek mythology? <laughs> Why would we? I just, uh, it's funny when people correct like right. the small stuff. It, yeah. It, which is totally subjective. <laughs> it's different like where the apostrophe should go in a word is already pretty well defined. But <laughs> like, right. if you've got a brand new computer and I slightly pronounce it wrong, don't correct me. <laughs> I will be like I'm gonna beat you. I'll to remember it forever. Them. Right. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> so but uh, Amazon. Are you guys Prime members? I'm not. No. It's worth it. I know. Well, for you when you order that much stuff, yeah. I can see it, but I don't think I would. Would I have? I think it gives you, I, which I am not sure. I think it gives you access to music and uh, yeah, and like Hulu and, and stuff. stuff. Or, yeah. So it's streaming. So it's a hundred bucks a year. You know, it renews itself every year. Under ten dollars a month. Yeah, and then you I get pay that for Netflix. So. You, so if you want, you can get next day to two day shipping for nothing. Well, I'm not gonna lie. I ordered a couple things recently, and they were um, they general. were general like shipping. I just did like the regular general shipping, and from Amazon. Yeah, and it took two days. So I'm like, oh, yeah, you, you most times lucky. it doesn't. You get lucky. Take very long. Sometimes, like, I order something and it's there, and the next day I'm like, whoa, <laughs> freaky bad. <fan. laughs> like, what? I'm like, this is Jimmy John's all over. <laughs> yeah. I ordered this at 10 p.m. last night. <laughs> what the fuck? It's there at like 10 a.m. <laughs> I love it, though, man. It's the wave of the future, right? It's almost is. It's like it's instant gratification. Blockbuster it's there. doesn't know what's going on anymore. Oh. <laughs> They're screwed. <It's, laughs> They're still around. I know there's got to be one somewhere. Yeah, in like Worthington, Minnesota. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't. Next we don't little, have. Next, oh, good. Now I can finally return that damn yeah, video. Yeah. <laughs> next I to, found him next to the pizza ranch. <laughs> oh God, uh, <laughs> pizza ranch. That's just, another hate. Oh, I hate I it. I never had it. I, I haven't either. It's you just don't. The sound it. of it just. You just get to out. smaller towns and you see like a pizza ranch. You're like, that's got to be. Well, it's down in. This is what we Burnsville. do here. There's huh? one in Burnsville, oh. right next to um, so, somehow like Highway 50, it, 60 I, exit, it creep, Cabela's and shit up here. A little yeah, bit. yeah, no, it's right next to like home uh, home furniture. It's almost. Yep, as, I, I saw it. I was like, oh, what? Pizza it's got to be almost as good as a Cadillac Ranch in the Mall of it, America. Oh, have you? And I know where it's supposed to. Not good. Yeah, I don't even it know that place is. Unless you want withered salad that's like red. Mm. Why did rusty, Why did they have some rusty. rando? Restaurant that isn't even like a nationwide thing. Or I anything. know, but it's not good. I've eaten there twice, and it's not good. Mm. Have you had five dollar pizza yet? No, don't. Really? <laughs> oh, did you have it? Yeah, I loved did it. Did you love it? I loved it. Oh, he likes cardboard God. though. With no, no, no. Oh. It's way different than the uh, Little Caesars. It is different. They do cook it fresh. But I mean, yeah, it right. seems <laughs> like the ingredients are better. The ingredients are better, and I, I'm not They're saying it's like what? old world style pizza or anything. I'm <laughs> no, just saying, not even close. No, and obviously it's you get what you pay for, but true. I don't know, okay experience. Steve, your thoughts on five dollar pizzas? Uh, yeah. What don't what don't well, you like? What I I ordered I ordered and I didn't go with their. Do they deliver? I take that back. No, they don't. Um, I got a uh, a veggie pizza for myself, and I got my wife just the. The sausage is standard. Pizza. Are they like a ten inch, twelve inch pizza? Yeah, twelve inch, I think. Yeah, about right. Thin crust. 
It's the same crust regardless, I think, right? I think so. So is it a thin it's crust? Or like it's a kind of a medium crust hand in tossed, a way. Like kind a of a domino Z. Yeah, like a hand toss. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, that would be about right, because yeah. it's not like a perfectly formed crust. It's, you know, and it's got a little, it's got a gap about this big running all the way around it. Um, oh, was it? Where they didn't start the ingredients for like an inch and a half into the pizza. You know? <laughs> it's like, no, no, put the needle here and start the record here. No, yeah. it's like, boop, they dropped it on song three and started putting the stuff on, you know? <laughs> 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 and so, you know, first of all, and I'd gotten a tip from a gal. She said, call in ahead of time because they're always busy. I'm oh, like, yeah. all right, cool. So I called on my way home from work. They're busy oh, all the time? Yeah. Well, $5 pizza, dude. Yeah, they're yeah. nonstop. They should just take the door off the hinges because that thing doesn't stop. Yeah, it's swinging. like you've got a place five dollar pizza. It's like having a glory hole. Like you're not gonna try it. <laughs> it's right next door to Trophy Liquors too. So ding dong, trick. You know? hat trick. <laughs> is that what it is? Hat trick. Oh, yeah. sorry. Yeah. This is a cool name, but based off of the hockey. Yeah, hat right. trick. Some yeah. Hockey action. Got that part. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, so in I got there. I still waited twenty minutes. There was probably yep. eight people sitting in the little lobby area. I had that uh, experience. I remember that. Yeah, and Mine then, wasn't so bad with the ingredients, so you must have no. got some some guy who didn't want to be there that day. Another thing was like, with but I, it's not obvious. It's not the best pizza in the world. But for five, um, it was a little more than five bucks. I added yeah. an ingredient or something, and then one, and then it was uh, fifteen forty. No, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that second ingredient was, will kill you. Only seven dollars for the extra ingredients. <laughs> you want it on the whole pizza? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, whole pizza? No, fuck. Yeah. That's going to be more, dude. Right. All right? Come on. <laughs> Stop the assembly line. <laughs> no, and then they uh, you know, got the boneless wings, which weren't horrible, but I just asked them for no sauce, and they came swimming in barbecue sauce. And I was like, all right. Oh, that will piss me off. <laughs> yeah, that would, that would piss me so off. So do they have a deep fryer for their wings, or do they put them in an oven? I think they're oven done. Because when they're oven done, I don't like them. Yeah. Here's I why. Why did Okay, go ahead. It's like what? Domino's. They do theirs oven, and yeah. they're fatty, and yeah. like, and, and they're, they're cooked. Not, yeah, they need, they need to be drier. They feel yeah. squishy. They're squishy, and I don't like when they're uh, squishy. Yeah, that's not good. You need to dry them out a little bit, and I think that deep fryer dries them out. Yeah. You know? So whenever I've gotten, when I, when I used to order Domino's, I haven't in years, but when I used to order their wings, I just remember eating, I just feel like I'm eating a fatty, cushy... <laughs> Pumpy, <laughs> nice. No. <laughs> deep fried. Those, those motherfuckers need to be deep fried. <laughs> deep fried Put them in the hot oil, yo. Yeah. And it dries them out. It like mm. makes it crispier. Yeah. Somehow. I well, at least that that outer part gets yeah. nice and crispy. Yeah. Yeah. You know. It must just kind of burn it, right? Because it's so yeah. hot. Hot that oil right. is hot. I don't. I'm not a boneless guy. I like the bone in. You know, yeah, I like the bone do. in. I know. I see you put bone, <laughs> bone in your mouth all the time. Tradish. I like them tradish. I hate. I actually hate it when I order chicken wings. Pet peeve. Hey, I'd like to order some chicken wings. Uh, would you like boneless or traditional? I'm like, fuck traditional. Come on, it's a fucking chicken wing. There's nothing. First of all, there's nothing traditional about it. <laughs> like, I, I want it. Rip how the it, middle yeah. of the wing out. Yes. I want it. How it comes it off full the chicken. Of juicy antibiotics and shove it in my mouth. I don't, if I wanted boneless, I would say. I would like a cube of chicken with breading on it. <laughs> yeah, give me one of them Frankenstein. Adam things. is notorious for eating chicken wings. You, that's, I am this. I am avid. You. He is like at least three or four times a week. Eats, no, um, it's like twice a week. Mm, <laughs> Which is still that's bad. Good, though. That's good. Oh god, that's bad. He's yeah. like he comes in. He's like, what should I eat? Hmm. Uh, it rhymes mm. with chicken wing. <laughs> <laughs> ah. He did have a. You did. You did come in the other day and have a quesadilla. Oh. With <laughs> slick and ring, <laughs> but there was, it was, I have very it was chicken exacting. Yeah, I didn't do the beef in the quesadilla. Hmm. It was I. Oh. I can get worked up about chicken wings. So if you, you do, want. I mean, do I you like a going. dry wing? Do you like a wet wing? How do you? Or is it just they very? Gotta have needs. enough sauce on. Dude, them. he is a kind of mint freak. <laughs> I have a group of friends who will laugh when they hear that. Mm. They used to call me the condiment king. <laughs> but I'm like, why the hell? Like, you give multiple flavors when you Sauce try multiple it up. flavors. Sauce it up. Multiple We should just get you like an IV of ranch. Yes, yeah, took it to my vein. Do we talk about that New Mexican place at all? Which one? LL's Teca? No, no, no. There's a new oh. one where the old pizza shop was across from there. Oh, it's in uh, New Mexico. Old pizza shop? No, the... Uh, Southview Boulevard. There's a 
Oh, where that pizza shop used to be across oh, really? the street from there. Yeah, it's a it's a taco place now. Really? Oh, I didn't know that. What's it called? I don't know. The taco place. Oh, you would have said that probably. Yeah. Uh, is it? It's so it's in that cursed building where nothing ever exists. Makes it makes more it, than a where month. there's like it's like a walkout <laughs> in the back. You know. What? Which building are we talking about here? Right across the street from not right across, but right across by like a, between eleventh and tenth. Well, it's got to be real new then. It's kind of like that little uh, yeah. goofy two-story type building, goofy, right? Yep. And that's where Angelo's it was at one point, right? I think they parked in there for a little bit before they I moved to Nolan's area. Did they? Well, I they, think so. I think they, they used to like the red and white building. Yeah. It used to be like a, oh, it used to be a pizza place. So it, it was, was a, the pizza place, not across the street from the pizza right. place. Right. All right. Yeah. It's on the opposite yeah. side of $5 I was across, pizza. I was, I was talking across from $5 pizza, but it's for the it. road a bit. Got it. Yeah, yeah uh, that must be real new. Maybe it's next time I'll, I'll order some and we bring it in and we try it on our podcast. I'm afraid. <laughs> and then just throw it at each other. You'll eat $5 pizza, but you're afraid yeah. to eat at that I was, taco I joint. I was afraid to eat $5 uh, pizza, too. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to try that pizza place. You know, it's 5 bucks. It's not the end of the world. but And and then you can kind of be the tiebreaker because I I thought it was absolutely hideous. My wife didn't even finish her pizza, and really? it was just a plain sausage. You're not supposed to talk about your wife. Oh, not that wife, but the wife that I had before this one. <laughs> she hated everything. This one here is the salt is of the it, earth. Is that, is that the thing? <laughs> salt of the earth? What kind of taste does that leave in your mouth? Well, it ain't sweet, brother. <laughs> uh, bacon? It tastes like bacon. <laughs> Oh, shoot. Uh, we're not. Is sorry. that a rule? Did you get it's, told not uh, yes, to talk about her? I was told. <laughs> now I'm doing it. I'm sorry. No, no, that's all right. Dude, when you're not me. on, right? Like right now, she's yeah. listening to our other podcast. You think so? I don't think she has she's any idea on where to find it. She's auditing it. What yeah. did you call it? The flubbery? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's kind of creepy. You call it chubbery. Right. What does it mean? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the point. <laughs> It's total nonsense. Well, I know that. Your voice is... I like that voice. <laughs> your wife voice. Mine sounds like Marge from his first name. You got the deep voice in it. <laughs> hey, kid, break it up. She'll say something completely reasonable, and I'll be like, Don't you think it's time to take out the trash? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you mock her like that? Nice yeah. Do you? Good job. Only until she's real upset, and then I comfort her. Do you get hug. a child in front of you she's then? Like, why do you do that? <laughs> do you make her cry? One of the no. I mean, not on purpose. And then you, like, mm. coddle her a little bit? No, mm. I don't make her cry. I make her go, oh, and then I decide to hug her. Because you like putting that little knife in her back. She doesn't want the hug, it. then. It's and weird. then you look them deep in the eye, and you Most say, women, forever, never, amen. Most women, <laughs> better for worse. disown them like that. They throw it back at you if they if they, if they're if they're a little bit stronger. Well, they'll throw it back. At them. Oh don't, yeah! Don't she you think you don't think you're gonna get a hug out of me? Right? Yeah, she's like, mm, what are you doing? You just pissed me off. Yeah, yeah don't touch me. Yeah, it's like, I just like to see the look on her face when the, <laughs> I think we like something. to do that to women though. Well, it's, it's fun. you know when they say men are dogs and women are cats. Yeah, you know, same hug a cat once. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but then when you... They like the one or two pets, but on yeah. the third pet, yeah, no. fuck you. Yeah, uh, every now and then blood. they'll let you have sex with them. And right. Like, just like a cat. Meow. Hello, crickets. We need the uh, George Lucas soundboard. Oh, big time. Whatever they use yeah. in all their movies. <coughs> let me work on, on that. 12-foot screen. <laughs> You know, I was thinking about doing that through my computer, but I might get something externally that I yeah. can plug in through a channel so I can have like a tablet or something, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah, maybe that would be better than the phone deal. We should do that. Hmm. We could get a tablet and do that. So, yeah, I think so. I have, I, have a, I mean, my daughter's I have tablet a proprietary tablet for our band for our backing tracks, and that's all we use it for. That's cool. That and monetary stuff if we sell anything, so. That's not a bad idea. Yeah. But I turn off all the notic notifications because if we're playing a song, we got a backing track going. You don't want to be like Bing. Facebook and fucking Bing. Carl said he liked your photo. <laughs> Carl, not no Carl. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking monkey. Yeah, that's not where that drop's supposed to go, <laughs> and that's not even in tune with the song. Carl, you're so dead, Carl. Carl. <laughs> Do you, okay, I have a question. Excuse my flimmage. 
That's all right. Your flummage. Flummage. <laughs> we said at the same time. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I'm, a little, I'm a little bit clumped. Talk amongst yourselves. Talk amongst yourselves. He has his medicine. Uh, okay. Do you... How much do you guys like people who are like, see you next year? Oh. Right before New Year's. Yeah. It's charming. I had you, a couple times. It's not a big deal. <laughs> you're like, oh, you're like, oh, yeah. Oh, uh, you do got it. me. You got me so yeah. good on that uh, one, you so trickster. That's new. <laughs> I, well, then I do it to people just to piss them off who I know don't and then, like it. Go and then give them because the Because I also wink. don't like it. Right. Yeah, I also don't like it. Yeah, yeah. Or do the fake like, hey, guys, see you next year. <laughs> Get it? Like, because tomorrow is like, right. oh, it's a whole uh, new year, you guys. Yeah, and they're like, the old stop time. this joke <laughs> now. It sucks. It wasn't funny. <laughs> I do think it's douchey it of me to do it. It didn't start out that way. And but, it's not ending that way. Yeah. But do you know the guys who do it and they're like, mm-hmm. they really are like, wow. Right, yep. The double finger. Gotcha. See you next year. Right. <laughs> you can. <laughs> that's almost for me, it's like, uh, Hmm. Same guys that say I'm living the dream. I hate, I hate that. Living the dream. It's <laughs> or, going on too long. I do that all the time, though. Uh, but in a very snide manner. Yeah, see, it's like some people do it, and they're like, like how's Meh. it going, man? Yeah, but living, other people are like, dream. My favorite, my favorite is this it. old guy, Roger, that comes in. He's a regular. He's got to be about close to 80. He's got one glass eyeball. Regular Raj. And the other one, he's like... Cataract almost completely blind in, oh, and he rides his bike oh. to the bar. Is and that he's, right? He's been, oh, he's been na- the sandblaster. How many times have you been hit by a car? Uh, a lot. <laughs> For real? Yeah, and he's so <laughs> juiced up half the time. <laughs> Are you serious? He's so he's so he he's just so bounces. Ju- he's just so juiced up. He's like, man, he'll come in. He'll come he's in, like a baby, and he'll have a sun like he'll have his glasses on. <laughs> <laughs> he'll have his like these sunglasses on over and it'll just be like a scrape mark oh, on his face Ron. Roger Roger sorry yeah. is he took a digger like on the pavement right, right? Yeah, or he was drunk and fell around. <laughs> he's a sweet dude he keeps active he'll bike like 25 50 miles a day and can barely see a thing and well yeah he drinks his bean he and misses turn every time yeah. <laughs> I think he got hit a couple years ago. I, just Christ, was, where leaving, I? I was do, working a oh. uh, day shift, yeah. and he came in. He probably had three or four beam and sevens, and he's probably was, was drinking before he that. He weighs ninety five pounds. I know who you're talking about, <laughs> right? He, he weighs eighty five pounds. A, he, oh, 85. Okay, <laughs> he's a good eighty five pounds soaking wet, oh. and he got hit. <laughs> and the cops came, and they're like, "We're gonna well take detox, him to yeah. detox." Yeah. But he's like, nah, I'm I mean, like, his normal thing is like, nah, I'm fine. Whatever. <laughs> and then one of his neighbors came along and like, ah, like, I'll take him. The, you know, they're like, they're not going to bring him in. Yeah. And somebody's like, I'll be responsible for him. Sure. What was I getting to on him anyways? Uh, the, the scraping, sandblaster. the accidents, the scrapes. No, before the, that, we were talking about something. Sorry, uh, oh, that was Okay. That was me. We were talking about something okay. before that, though. Oh, oh, yeah. People who say. People oh, who say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you ask him how his day is mm. every time without a fucking doubt. Oh, fair to Midland. Oh, man, he's old school. Yeah, and then you go, hey, Roger, what's up? And he goes, this guy. Uh. <laughs> or he'll just go, point up. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> but see, that's a good one. I like yeah. to just this. Yeah, that's up. Fair Why don't you fucking look? And I fuck with him hard, <laughs> hard all the time. I'm like, I'll grab his drink and I'll turn around and look at him and I'll go, here you go, you sexy little bitch. <laughs> and then, you know what it does? It gives him, like, he's so emotionless. You know, like, he doesn't show a lot of emotion. Yeah. It's just fucking straight lace. But I get a little smile out nice. of him when I do little that. Little corners thing. of the mouth yeah. pop well, he up just a goes, like you fucking do. Smart age. Like, I like to catch him off guard like that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Catching old men off guard and calling them sexy little bitches. Oh, he could probably still get it up. That's good. <laughs> Does it, like, like, okay. And it's the same. What impresses me about this guy real quick here is... He he's uh, an avid drinker, but he'll bike, and that's what and like he smokes his little cigarellos because he lost okay. his license. That's why he's. Biking. Oh yeah, I mean he's got a glass. <laughs> I mean he can't drive. He's got a glass eye and a fucking cataract eye. <laughs> well, that was just he just stopped when he just Both stopped driving those? three months ago. <laughs> <laughs> he he when he looks at his bill, he pulls out and uh like a, a magnifying mag, a little magnifying glass yeah. like this big, yeah. and he'll get literally he'll get this close. Yeah. To see, looking at it. You know what he does, too, during the day? Do you ever smack him with that? <laughs> he gets it up close <laughs> to his face. You know what he does? He fucking, Sorry, Raj. Too close. He, 
He's not dumb. He comes in and completely fills out a fucking crossword from the St. Paul Pioneer Press every day almost. <laughs> Complete? Pretty much. That's yeah. hard, dude. And with the little magnifier and shit? Yeah. Super up close? Yeah. That must take him all day. No. <laughs> Two hours. No. Oh. Shit. Sorry. It's okay. What happened? Did you bonk it? Yeah, I bonked it. Yeah. No, I don't think we lost anything. Yeah, Back in one. Yeah. My my main thing with that is, is his little phrase line is fair to Midland. Fair to Midland. Fair to Midland. Do you ask him where the fair hell Midland, Midland is? No, I should have. I, I need to. Where the fuck's Midland? I know where it is. Where? I think he's saying Midling, like Midland. Like apostrophe at the end? No. No. Because I think it's like Midland. And I've heard that for 100 years. There's a band called Fair to Midland. Is there? Yeah. Because Midland is, Gee. that's actually where, that's in Michigan. Nobody gives a fuck about Michigan. Yeah, no, <laughs> I don't like Michigan. <laughs> if anything, it, was it an looks I, like a mitten. Is it an Irish, Irish saying? I don't know. Fair I have to, no idea. Fair to Midland? If you guys could call in and tell us the, the origin of Fair to Midland, that would be perfect. <laughs> Rain off the hook. <laughs> Go ahead, call. You're on the air. <laughs> Hi, I got an answer to your Fair to Midland question. Midland's about 25 miles out of Nashville. <laughs> I tell you what, those cocksuckers down there, they don't know how to make a drink. <laughs> Uh, my, my sister Bethany lives there. I go visit her every other week. <laughs> I guess it could be Midland, Texas, couldn't it? <coughs> now that I'm thinking, we don't like we don't like her husband. We got him fucking a horse, Roger. <laughs> Roger Midland, horse fucker. Mm-hmm. Ah, there it was. Do you- <laughs> I was. I was like, man, I could use a break. I was like, <laughs> and there it was. Oh boy. <laughs> What were you gonna say? I was joking. Oh, no, no, it's okay. I, you know when you're talking about his his glass eye and stuff, and you remember the movie Captain Ron with Kurt Russell? Yeah, where he's with the family on the boat, and it's isn't like it Goldie Hawn in there too? Um, no, um, I can't. Oh, Mary, he's... not Mary Kate Place, but I can't remember what her name is. And then with uh, the comedian and Martin Short, Martin is, Short, yeah, as the husband. Yep, but he's got he's got a patch over the one eye. And so he he fell asleep. Well, when he falls asleep, he puts his patch over his good eye to keep the light out, right? <laughs> so the little kid kind of comes up to him, looks at him, he's like, I think he's dead because his one eye is like wide open, <laughs> just staring into space. <laughs> they poke him with a freaking stick, and he's like, ah, 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 and he's spinning his eye patch to get it back onto his, you know, get his good eye opened up again. <laughs> I love that scene. The rest of the movie's, yeah, you know, but it's been a long time. That it's scene kills me. I think I think I. Seen Joe versus the volcano before oh, uh, last time I saw man. that before that one. Wow, Tom Hanks. Yeah. That was his. Big, that movie got panned. I yeah, mean, that's one of those you panned. Don't quite yeah. show up in the filmography. Like <laughs> oh really? Yeah. Yeah. Was that his precursor to uh, what's the one where a uh, abandoned movie? Castaway. Castaway. Did that get oh. panned? No. Okay. No, because there was Volunteers was in there in that same time frame with John Candy <laughs> and him. Uh, <laughs> I like it when he does comedy. Yeah. He's good. Who, Tom Hanks? Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, he did, he did Booze, Booze and Buddies. Buddies yeah. yeah. That was his main gig. I'm trying to get that song stuck in my head right now. It's a Billy Joe song. I know. What is it? My life. I don't care what you say. Oh, this, this is my life. Go ahead with your own life. Leave, Leave me alone. alone. Yeah, we're we're all sick fuckers here. <laughs> it's like the flem the flemery. <laughs> I like the double entendre where it's like bosom buddies, like bosom. they're really good buddies, but bosom. then they dress like women. Right. Yeah, like that bosom. Right, I just <laughs> I just want to touch their boobs. Nice bibs. There's a see. There's a threesome you'd be willing to be in, right? Uh, what was the other actor's <laughs> name? The blonde dude. Oh, who never made shit. it anywhere. Yeah, what was his name? I don't know. Isn't that important? Well, that's how time you, remembers. People. When you see it, you'll you'll laugh because you'll recognize it the moment you see it, and you'll be like, "Oh shit, yeah." I'm gonna look it up right now. Um, I am Dibble. Not, not did ready. he not do anything after that? He did he more artsy some parts, stuff, right? Yeah, well, he was in. He was doing some bit part stuff, and he was showing up as you know little B characters and things, but nothing, nothing solid. Right. Um, I thought there was one other thing that. Obviously, it wasn't a huge success. Like a Disney did. thing or something, right? Did he do a Disney? I don't know. I just remember I did. It was funny because probably five years ago, I read about him. And it had to be because... Scolari. Peter Scolari. 
Is that yeah. who it is? Yeah. Holy shit, how do you remember that? I have no idea. Wow. <laughs> Steve used to have his posters on him in his bedroom. I, I hated really... Tom Hanks. I hated you for what you did to Peter. <laughs> well, what was... <laughs> did you have him as a bosom buddy in the female garb or just like Top Gun volleyball No, style? straight up. It was right next to the Wham poster. It was all nice. good. Yeah. Uh, speaking of Wham, I've been playing a lot of Careless Whisper. <laughs> <laughs> That's wake me up before you go. I, I don't know the I know. words. So it's just like dim and dim brown baby. It's good tune, huh? Careless whispers is a good too. Oh, that you know, actually, I, I, I you was, never get that saxophone riff out of your head. Right. Yeah. Do you ever see the guy? Oh, that is. Do you ever see that a YouTube with a guy that goes in like like classrooms and like malls? And he's got like a mullet with like sunglasses on. He's got a saxophone and he's just playing that riff over and over. That's and awesome. I've seen it. It's hilarious. Wow. <laughs> people are like, they're like, at first they're like, what is this guy doing? And then some people will get it and they'll kind of chuckle and other people, it's just like any other, you know, prank or exhibition thing that people do. Yeah, and he gets, and then you get the a-hole and they're like, get, get out of here. <laughs> but most people are just kind of like giggle. Yeah, that is pretty funny. It's called I, like the careless whisper sax guy. Yeah. <laughs> It was, it's called Sexy Sax Man, Careless Whisper oh. Prank. <laughs> is he as good as the, like, uh, who's the guy, what's his name that does the cat dance? The sick cat? Oh. It was one of our favorites for a while. Yeah, that's pretty funny, too. But you know what he's doing? <laughs> I'm doing the move right now. <laughs> I wish we could show this to you. <laughs> uh, look it up on YouTube, the sick cat dance. It's the same guy that did, does the really wild arm and leg dance in his underwear in front of people. Mm -hmm. Have you seen that? Like flailing, like he's disjointed and shit? He, yeah, he looks like a sick cat. dancing. But he's oh. dancing. Yeah. Oh. Oh. He's like yeah. teaching people <laughs> learn how to dance, I think was his like YouTube channel. Fair to Midland. Okay, fair to Midland. Fair to Midland. <laughs> <laughs> that never grows old. Holy cow, I just pissed myself. That was so funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, that's like the guy who's like, Hey, Adam, what's up, dude? Oh, did you get a haircut? And then if I'm like the douchebag, I'm like, no, I got a ball cut. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'd get it, because otherwise it would be pointless to get a haircut. Oh. Punch that guy. Yeah, it just happened to you. <laughs> it did. You got a radio punch. I, did. I love just look. When you're going off like that, Adam, I just look over it and you just go, all right, guy, I got you. You do? I got you. You got me? Yeah. It's, it's like the trust leap or falling backwards. And he's falling back, and I catch him, but I just go, whoop. Uh, <laughs> oh, this is, you can gently let me rest. <coughs> what if I hit my head, dude? There's mm. a pillow down there. Do you want me to rant about the minor no, or No, there'll joints? be a minor concussion, but it's all fine in the end. Yeah, we'll run you through the protocol. Make sure you're okay to air. Is that... Okay, so how many concussions do you get before you get, like... A one, a two, a three, three. Was that the, was that the, the lollipop? Until <laughs> your lollipop breaks, that's what you get. A one, a two, a three. Stupid owl. Fucker. Three. Now no one will ever know because that was so popular. Well, it's three. It is. What the fuck's wrong with that? <laughs> I, I'm sure there's a certain demographic of like 27 and below that won't know what you're talking about when you say that. Absolutely. That's all right. Fuck them. That's all right. We want older people anyways. <laughs> I'm tired of young people. Me too. All these millennials. Ugh. I'm not getting what I want. I don't have enough bandwidth. <laughs> I have a feeling though, like we... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How come we can't watch three iPads in the house at the same time? It's unfair. I did synchronize it. <laughs> I, I'm yeah. somewhat guilty of falling into that, though. We well, all, yeah. we all. Well, are. you're 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 closer to that technological <laughs> yeah, side of things. Yeah, but when I things. think of like '99, 2000, and having a just getting my first cell phone out of college, and it was like a fucking Nokia candy bar, <laughs> and you're like, oh, I can text, and it's green screen. What? Fucking phenomenal. <laughs> and you're limited to like. A sentence on it. Game Boy? Yeah. Mm. I I just like complaining, the irony of complaining about people who complain, so I do it. <laughs> I'm complaining about myself right now. Yeah, Compound complaints. That's what I <laughs> like, now I'm like, I can't not look at my phone. I know. I want to fucking... <laughs> <laughs> well, that's just like, uh, I mean, 
people get old and they bitch about young people. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. Yeah. And people bitch about old. Well, people. I have these group Guess of guys what? in the yeah. bar. We're, we're getting there. Yeah. You know, <laughs> I get these group of guys in the bar. I call them a the crew when I name their tags. Uh, they all pay the sixties. Yeah, si- yeah, fifty, late fifties, early sixties, right. and it's just bitch fest about everything. <laughs> There's nothing positive. Right. There'll be yeah, a, there'll, like, there'll be five, five, six of the conversation will be negative, and mm-hmm. then they'll end it up with like a. <laughs> 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 oh, we'll take another beer. <laughs> <laughs> they just line. Are they just lining them up for the punchline, or what? yeah? They're like oh, negative, 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 negative. Funny. Ha, Ooh, ha, ha. reset. Yeah. It's like the Tom Bernard show. Oh, oh, I uh, just can't oh. stand this. Blah blah blah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I hate when people have to come over and clean my gigantic pool. Yeah, life is so <laughs> bad for me. I, I haven't wiped my own ass in thirty-four <laughs> years, and I'm not starting today. Uh, I do voiceovers, and you can hear me in California. <laughs> literally, I heard him. And I was when I was everywhere. Yeah, he, he did literally everywhere. everywhere. Some winery, or I was driving yeah. like through L.A. or whatever, and fucking listen to the radio, and his voice comes on There's for some Minnesota boy. Must be rough, Tom. Um, well, it's a tough gig to get, but God bless him. I yeah, it's just he. There was a time I thought he was hilarious, yeah. and then it slowly, it quickly went away. Well, now I, and then I hadn't listened to KQ in a, a long time, but now I guess Terry trains on at night with yep, uh, with with her, with her big boobs. Bob, I don't know. Is that Bob Sansevier? No, no, it's a what's. Um, actually, I wanted to say it was she a, is with her big boobs when she does the show. Yeah. Yeah, um, but what is his name? You'll remember. You remember everything. Yeah, because he was. Because um, I think he was on there for a while. Fair to the eighty six um Tony was it? Tony uh, Fly? Not Tony Fly. No, that's, that's you're thinking. Um, Tony. Tony. Tony Tony Fly. Was he one of the regulars? Yeah, he was for a long time, and he was like one of the funniest guys on there. And that was right when when Howard Stern was starting to come in, and they were they were listening in on on KQ show and. And he was doing his uh, uh, what's what the hell song is? Oh, blow me, <laughs> blow me a little kiss, just blow me a little kiss. You know, and it was it was like a Dean Martin type yeah. thing. You know, ah, baby, if you just blow me a little kiss. You know, and, uh, and then the other one was how's your hole? How's your hole? Family, how's your hole? How's your hole? Family, <laughs> tell me how is your whole family? How's your dick? Machine, how's your dick? <laughs> <laughs> so, so I never heard shit like that. No, and heard. it was funny because it was I was listening to Howard Stern listening to KQ, right. and I was laughing. Howard was laughing. He's like, "Man, he says that's funny shit. He says that's really good." And of course, you know, Howard got his ass beat right out of town. You know, yeah, he was going to come in and take over. We're probably now we'll get ninety six <laughs> next because we're trash. I trash talk Bernard, but. Well, he, he without that supporting cast, he needs to quit. Right. He needs to quit I, that morning show and just do voiceovers. Yes. For, Why would he bother well, he himself does, with that shit? He does have a oh. podcast, so oh. and he's got. I, I will give him this. He started a podcast, like a whole like channel. So there's like, I don't know if there's five or ten of them, but he like sponsors these podcasts for other podcasters, like Mishki oh, was on sure. one of them, and then I think the guy we were talking about that I can't remember his name has one. And so that's a positive. I like so how that. Long he, how long has he been doing a podcast? A couple, so he, couple of years. Well, so I think he, him and his son. He does that on top of his radio show? Yeah. Yep. And his multiple voiceovers? Yeah. So he, all he does is talk. Radio, yeah. Hmm. But So that's cool. I like that. But it's I just got sick of his negative stuff. Yeah. And then, you know, Terry's Terry can be pretty funny. And then oh. one thing I hate about that show is... She's saying something, and she's being goofy on purpose, or like yeah, so I, I being can like the tell. comic relief, you know, like ha oh, ha. Are you sure? You know, just say something a little bit off, and then I'll just rip her a new asshole. <laughs> like she, they, it's like how do they really think she's the dumbest chick in the world, or something. She certainly Instead sounds of, like it at times. <laughs> well, I mean, at it's times, like, is she but really I, that it's a bad? Shit, I think. Well, oh, that's what I couldn't. I couldn't tell if there was an actual defining line between where a character and herself. Right, parted company. Oh god! And they just relied on it Sorry. too much. That's all. Using my Italian hand signal. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> just the middle finger. <laughs> my fungal. I guess be, they'd bite the thumb. Mm. That's okay. My Vicky, who I bartend with, she's Italian, and she fucking her, mm, she, she just yeah. wah, her hands everywhere. 
So then I walk up behind her when she's talking to somebody and be like mimicking her. Mimicking her behind her. She's like, mockery. shut up. <laughs> it's a mockery. She tells you to shut up when she wants yeah, you to yeah. stop moving. With her hands. <laughs> right? She just slaps me in the face. Well, I wrote a song about Vicky. Well, I wrote half a chorus. That's weird. It's two lines. No, don't you remember? <laughs> it was right around when David Bowie died. No, what did like, you write? Well, I, the only line I remember was, it was like... Golden beers. Vicky. And then I was like... Vicky, Vicky, put on your yoga pants. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. Cause, cause that. That's all she wears during work. That's all any female bartenders wear is yoga pants uh, and servers. And I get it. I know why. And But yeah, <laughs> it's like the only thing any of them wear ever. She had to replace a pair after a while because she started getting, she showed me she was getting the holes. Oh, don't. Down we by can't. the crotchy area. <laughs> She's never going to forgive you. That huh? thing's got teeth. I didn't see the giant. Chewing its way out. <laughs> Four shots. Oh, fair to Midland. In your yoga pants. Shots. Is that your David Boy? Oh, You're going to have yeah. to have that completely do done by next week. <laughs> <laughs> yoga right, pants. Fuck them. All right. You want me to do the backing Put music for it? Yeah. Yoga pants. What's, how does it go? And dance the blues. What what song are you re- referencing? Let's off dance, of? David yeah. Bowie. Okay. Let's dance. Yoga pants. Okay, and then I can look that Put up and do the music for it. And dance the blues. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was. No, I, it's, we I was can do this. Oh. I know there's there's a lot in there. I love his song. Big I'm, L's gonna call and say, "Hey, or Weird L, not Big L. Who's I Big L? Those, I need that uh, copyright on there. Right. Uh, hey man, I, uh, I love I his song tune. On, on Labyrinth. Jump, magic, jump, magic, <laughs> jump. <laughs> I that couldn't. Yeah. How hard do you think you worked on that? That song? Yeah, you probably did it in a week. Yeah. Hmm. Is it a? You remind me of the babe. What babe? <laughs> My wife loved that movie. I love that movie. I mean, it's yeah. I just haven't seen it in twenty years, but uh, well, I probably watched it. Love it's pretty good. A year, within a year I remember or two. it being good, real good. But it's oh. Jennifer Connelly's in it. How can you know? Yeah. <sighs> Especially if you fa- oh, fa- <laughs> fast forward to a requiem of a dream. Oof. No, I can't. That Oof. movie makes me so sad. <laughs> it's, it's bad news. <laughs> <That> makes me. <laughs> It's like, especially fuck. one of the last scenes with her in it. Amazing, but it makes me fucking sad. Yeah, yeah it's no, like, it's oh, dark. fuck, it's dude, dark. this is too much. That whole, yeah. that, that whole movie is an emotional roller, roller coaster ride. Well, if I wanted to watch Requiem for a Dream, I would just do a bunch of heroin. <laughs> and make your own? Yeah. Just, <laughs> if somebody asks you how you're doing, you're not going to say fair to Midland. No, I'd be like, <laughs> living the dream. <laughs> Somewhere in Midland. <laughs> I swear it's Midland. And slightly in hell. Mm. We're going to look this up. What? Midland. Fair to Midland. Fair to Midland. Look it up. Look up the, I the don't deal. Know. Is it worth it? Yeah, let's do it. Let's All see right. the origin of it since we since I keep re- saying it over and over again. You guys talk about three ways and balls, and I will look up fair to Midland. Far to Midland. Uh, did you say it? Did you add an ING onto that? Midling. Well, that's my theory. <laughs> You'll probably get a band. Fair to Midland was an American progressive rock band yes. based in Dallas, Texas. Yeah. According to the band's official website, their name comes from an old <laughs> Texan play on the term Fair to Middling. Dude, You're you are right. so fucking smart. Oh, I'm so sorry, you guys. I hate to do it. No, no, oh. I love it. Oh. I told you so. I hear I'm ragging on him about it. No, it does sound like, well, if you say it, it sounds like Midland. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Especially when people say it. that was the way I was with- saying it. I wasn't saying Middling. Exactly. Well, especially when people are saying it, like the God, like no, stupid sorry. people like me. The, no, when, go ahead, say it. I don't just, care. <laughs> I'm bulletproof. Steve, dude. God damn it! Right. <laughs> Let her rip. <laughs> when Fair to people Midland are saying it fast, to... it sounds like Midland. Mm-hmm. Fair to Midland Fair comes to, Midland. to the party with two friends: Fair to Midland and Fair to Midland. Both of these gate crashers derive from the original phrase, but in different ways. Fair to Midland is just a colloquial version written in the way that was an expression. So, makes sense. Often spoken in Midwest America, at least. Which, as we will see, is where the expression originated. That's I'm here. I'm not reading anymore, because this mm. is like... So it's not Irish. 42. Cockney rhyming slang. There were plenty of Irishmen in this town. Yeah, there's a lot of Irish. <laughs> Oh, he's after me, Lucky Charms. Have you seen my pot of gold? I still love them. <laughs> Why don't you rub me Blarney Stone? <laughs> and I think it's actually Kiss, my Blarney oh, Stone, but I don't know. All right. Go ahead. Just give it a little tug. There's a Blarney Stone <laughs> pub in San Diego. Is there? Mm-hmm. With the little stone, right? 
in the they got it in the. Oh. Do you, what's it like? That's awesome. Like that's where I spent most of my time in San Diego. There's a guy that was playing. I went with my buddy Mark Flatley, and we went yeah. like two nights around. There's this guy playing with his guitar, and he had like bass and snare on his feet, hmm. and he was singing and yeah. like playing instruments. Like he's a one man deal, and he was right. doing a bunch of Irish music hmm. with his feet and his hands and his cool. mouth. It was pretty sweet. And then we go clubbing a little later. I don't know if we. That's cool. Like Baby Seals. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, there's a. I did have them at the dock there too, like in San Francisco. <laughs> you <couldn't> know. <laughs> Can you imagine if you walked out like, I saw this on YouTube. It's legit, right? I just started burning the seals. Barney, uh, Barney Stone, <laughs> San Pump. Francisco. Barney Stone is in in the Gaslight dis- District, which is just a long block mm-hmm. before you know where you know where Coronado Island is. Mm-hmm. So it's right like right across from that. that, and it's just a big long block, and it's pretty. Right. The Gaslight District is. Pretty much just a block of bars, and it's probably like... Is it on Coronado or prior to Coronado? No, it's on the mainland. Oh, okay. Across from Coronado. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. You've been to Old Town, I take it, then? Yeah, that's Somewhere the primary area where I would stay, in the okay. uh, in the Best Western Hacienda. They call it the mm. Hacienda, and I stayed yep. there like two or three times. Yeah. When would you stay there? When For I what? Go, just vacay. When he was in San Diego. Yeah. So, like, my first experience... It is a good place to go. My first experience with San Diego is Old Town. And there's nice. one, the, they have a bazaar Del Mundo, which mm-hmm. is like a big bazaar. And they have like different, <laughs> like um, the Casa de Pico, which is a, a restaurant where they like, hand, the ladies are hand, mm-hmm. doing, hand making the tortillas right in front of you and yes. stuff. And you get margaritas and big They're bowls. climbing. Yeah. So it's a wonderful place. You get place. scuba gear with your margarita because you're going in. <laughs> Climb on in. Does kids. that mean they're entering? Is it huge? Is it, it's big. Yeah, does that mean it's entering you when you get your scuba gear? Uh, uh, Pour it right in. Yeah. You been there? Yes. I'm just going to yeah, need absolutely. help breathing. There's an actually Italian restaurant in mm-hmm. that bazaar, too. Yeah, we didn't go there, though. It just it seemed well, odd. Well, yeah, you don't an do Italian that. restaurant. You know what I'm talking about, though, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, <laughs> yeah well, that when, is weird. You, uh, you could pretty much just spend your whole time in, in Old Town and yeah. have a blast. Right. Yeah. You don't have to go anywhere. There's, no. there's and I, the, we there's like the frog bar, the green with the green yep. green awning. It's mm-hmm. like I forget. There's like frog. there's two in that back corner. Yeah, you know that like little cul de sac yep. or little end zone there. And uh, but yeah, we went uh, went there and we a couple of it was for a cousin's wedding and I think my mom and sister and a couple of them went on the little bus tours because those launched from right there. Yeah. It's not big, but and, it's you can yeah. you take. I mean, it's entertaining. Yeah. Um, and isn't isn't that where like the first uh, Mexican settlement? Something was? like that. Yeah, it's it's really <laughs> it. You know, I, I love going there, but I really don't understand the historic significance <laughs> right. of it. But yeah, it was something Do, big. Okay, so when I went to San Francisco uh, with my wife on our honeymoon, it was it was kind of funny because I talked to a bunch of people from all over the state, and even people in California are like, "That's the best city in the state." San Diego. San, yeah, San Diego. Yeah. So. I guess I'm, it's it's expensive. I'll be going there. Yeah, it is. It, it's my favorite place to to like. If, like if I'm going to stay and visit, San Diego is a place. It's the people are pretty chill there. Everybody's chill. just relaxed. Like yeah. you go to Mission Bay or any of those places, oh, everybody's just OB. like, yeah. Everybody's just like, whatever, dude. Whatever. You're sitting at the bar and everybody's like, hey, what's up? And you're like, hey, you want a drink, dude? Yeah, yeah. let's drink. Okay. Yeah. I might not you fit your, in. You, <laughs> you, wear, you don't need to dress up. Everybody wears like sandals and yeah, board shorts. Board shorts. And, you know, Nobody's and, in a hurry to do nothing. It's cool because it's like always seventy freaking degrees there. Mm-hmm. And then you could drive. We we took a little. We we were uh, uh, when I was there another time with Mark. We uh, drove up into the mountains, which is about a 40 minute drive, mm-hmm. 40, 50 minute drive. Yep. And we went uh, mountain biking on a single track kind of deal, Ooh, which scared. was really fun. I would be too scared. Uh, it was pretty nuts because there was a time where we were going down the mountain. Yeah, goat path. And, and it, so like a path like this. Mark <laughs> jumped off this rock, probably about this tall. And he biffed 15 it, feet biffed down. it. Yeah. And he's like, just like, I saw him hit and landing. He's like, just go. And I like jumped right over him. Like, oh. Oh, he was on the bike. Yeah, and he we were wiped both out. on bikes. Oh, okay. So I was okay. Him. So he biffed it, but he was fine. Don't and stop, he's, dude. He's like, don't stop because right. you're going to hurt me. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. clear so me. So he like, he's like, go. And I heard him. He's like, just go. So like, I wouldn't hit him. Yeah, I, so you'd I, jump I, over him I instead was, of like. I was fine. Small Because wow. he just hit that landing rung. I thought you were going to say he like slid and almost fell off no. a cliff. Well, I was going to say he tumbled down 100 feet. Oh, and, and crumpled we had, we my nightmare. We had the full <laughs> suspension bikes and right. everything. I, we rented them when we were there, so it was fun. 
Yeah, cool. <laughs> San Diego's great. It is. And you can get snow up in those mountains. Great place to visit, but I wouldn't want to live there. Really? Why not? Yeah. I, it's too many people. Oh, is there a yeah. shit? It's very well, crowded. It's, it's a shit ton of people. Okay. And that's just me. It's like going to the Mall of America every day. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> um, no, I've got some cousins that have lived in San Diego their entire lives and, and swear by it, and they're wonderful people. I have a great time every time I go down there. Um, but every time I go, I'm I'm happy to come back home. Oh, it's really? It's like a little... Minnesota is a little more grounded, you know, a little more sanity to it. And, and Well, the tourism, I suppose, does that add to it, or is it, does it seem probably. like there's just so many people no yeah, matter what? I mean, just, yeah, to me, it's just always a shit ton of people no matter what. <laughs> No matter where you go. I mean, everywhere you the look is a house. Beach, the, yeah. Uh, you know. Yeah. And it's, you know, and, you know, back in the day, those guys had kind of some secluded places that only those in the know knew about, yeah. you know. Um, and now it's just like everybody and their brother knows every freaking nook and cranny of the joint and there's nothing special per se. But yeah, the weather's fabulous. Food's awesome. Get a big carne asada burrito, you know, the size of your forearm for four bucks. Yeah. But you got it. And this good. is funny because I went out there once. I was the best man for a guy uh, and went out there. And that's the first thing he says, man, as soon as we get off this freaking plane, he says, we're going to go to this little little rat shack or, you know, little uh, like a food truck, basically. Right. We're going to get these carne asada uh, uh, burritos. And he says, you know, we call them a forearm because they're that <laughs> wide, you know, they're, that, you know, boom, it's a monster. He says, the only thing is you got to eat it all in one sitting, you know, don't try and take it home. Is it, like, will it go okay. bad? Oh, it was awful. I mean, I, it was great eating it at the time, and it was wonderful, but I decided to keep mine for you later. You did not listen to the advice. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, each piece of steak wouldn't move because it was encased in fat. <laughs> oh, I mean, it was just, it was awful. And I, I'm well, like, okay. And because I, I chuckle, I said, yeah, whatever, you know, because I've eaten, you know, we've all woken up after a night of partying and you, you grab a fucking shoe if it's got marinara on it, you know, and, <laughs> and, and, you know give it a little lick, you know. That's so right. people eat cold chicken Run, and cold $5 right. pizza. Whatever, yeah, or something that's been sitting out on the counter for 38 hours. Ah, this oh, can't be that shit. bad. Well, it's a little tangier than normal, but man. <laughs> The boneless, the boneless B dubs is w- horrible. I can't really. Now I'm gonna rant. Oh, yeah. Uh, no, it's like I'm saying that's it. right. Though. No, I, right. I'm with you though. I felt like I was. I'm a purist too. Really? If, if it doesn't have the bone, if it's not like off the chicken and I can't recognize it, I just it. don't. And it started at B dubs when I used to go there. I just don't like the. It's like a tiny cube of chicken and then big... Processed, yeah, it looks like extruded a, meat. Yeah, like a, the chicken popped into popcorn, and it's just a hard, hard... Nodule. Nugget of MSG. <laughs> and fat. Yeah, and it doesn't taste yeah. as good as this straight-up well, chicken. Well, I've, I've had them. You were with me. When you guys are good. Yours at your place is good. No, I know. I like those. We, we, we actually... It's convenience. Our, it's a matter of convenience. Ours are, ours are real. Easy, big fella. Ours are real chicken breasts right. cut up and dipped. Right. That's that's a huge difference. <laughs> right. Because you can peel apart yours. Yes. You know, you, and it's, you, and it's, 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 if you squish it, it doesn't turn into crumbles. Yeah. Well, I've had, a, <laughs> I've had it at B-dubs where, like, I've had a, um, the boneless, and it's, like, I've gotten on the last few pieces. I'm like, oh, those don't kind of right. Get, yeah. And they were just, they were all just the coagulated well there wasn't even barely any chicken breast and if, if oh. not, none it was just all uh, breading breading and fat with breading and flavor Ugh. and you're like dude this had no meat in it <laughs> it's pure salt yeah and breading thank wonderful you. can't thank you enough <clears throat> for that Ugh. yeah i get that that's why i do like i'm a kind of a purist i do like a, a proper sized chicken wing and I don't know what they call them because they, they label them differently. It's like you got like chicken wing, which is technically the drummy and the wing right. kind of connected, you know, and then they'll, they'll cut those off. And then when you order places and you order wings, you get both that little wing ding and you get that little little mini drummy mm-hmm. type thing. Um, and to me, it, you know, just give me the bone thing. Make sure it's in there. Cause <coughs> it's like, oh, this is chicken. But I do like the convenience of the ones at uh, Boulevard, and they are tasty. That dry rub, that house rub, is phenomenal. Yeah, that's the huge. It's which, which you can. I, mean, I don't want to give any oh, secrets. No, no. Right? Go ahead. You I'm can, listening. You can get it. You can get it at like Cub Foods. Oh, really? Yeah, it's like uh, it's phenomenal though. I will say I have had those. 
against my own will. <laughs> Your better judgment, you. <laughs> oh, somebody else ordered them. Is what you're saying? If they're not, if they're breaded, like a, it's like a dusting. All right. Ours are right. ours are the rub legit rub chicken breasts. They cut up. They're rubbed. They rub their tits. <laughs> the glee chicken on your face, tits, right? <laughs> tits. Tits. Yep. Tits. <laughs> you guys ever heard this word? Tits. <laughs> <laughs> there are certain words that just make you fucking laugh. Right. That's why I say it when, when like somebody fuck. <laughs> Man, that's tight. I think it was presentation. T I T tight. T I T E tight. That's T I T tight. What are some other funny words <laughs> we can say? I wonder. Maybe at the beginning of the show, do we do a disclaimer? It's like this is not for kids, and don't listen to this at work unless you're on headphones. <laughs> just because we're dumbasses doesn't mean you get to be. <laughs> Don't get fired, idiot. Right. Snap out of it, zipper wow, head. A, it's the real life. I had a moment there, you guys. Sorry about the, all the all right. coughing. It's all right. You were good. I just, I'm as long as you didn't hit the dirt, I was cool. <laughs> so he's still breathing. Yep. Is he's crying? <laughs> that means he's breathing. Why Don't do it. Crying? Why Why are they crying it's on their podcast? Voice. I can do voices, too, but I'm sick like a motherfucker. <laughs> and then you should have a whole different range of voices. Yeah. Like the old guy that got this... Aqua lung. That's like Vader. Ten years later, if he survived. <laughs> Go ahead and poke your grandfather. He fell asleep in his helmet again. <laughs> Good thing we turned down the power on that. Darn! Where'd you leave your saber? I don't remember. Woman, stop <laughs> nagging me. And then he breaks off you in a know. coughing fit. <laughs> you know, that stupid pinchy thing doesn't work on me. <laughs> oh, man. Go ahead, do it again. Tough guy. <laughs> you just wait. My I'm saving up my energy and I'm going to kill you. <laughs> Slowly kill you. Yes. Where's my guard? <laughs> Where's one of those guys in the red thing? Would well, you then please he, get in here? Then he just have a crook like the crook of a can <laughs> laugh it up funny girl so those guys in the red those are just royal guards kind of I believe so yeah chlamydian guards or something like that chlamydian <laughs> did you I was gonna say that, chlamydia <laughs> I, I, I don't know but chlamydia that's <laughs> <laughs> yeah they actually they trained for about uh, they trained for five to seven years and then they're around for about two weeks <laughs> <laughs> just one of the branches of there right. right it's all you guys don't understand it's i mean it's all a star wars thing you wouldn't understand <laughs> chlamydians have been around forever <laughs> they never go away yeah keep, keep cropping up at the oh, most that's, inopportune that's an times. easy fix it's just a pill right <laughs> chlamydian chloride it's a little antibiotic mm. have you got some cranberry juice <laughs> Does that fix it? it fixes everything, man. Cranberry uh, juice is like the the inner. My wife drinks that when she's on her period. Right. You know, period. <laughs> Are you on your? Do you have your period? Not right now, but thanks for asking. <laughs> so good. <laughs> That's from The Departed. <laughs> I love that movie. Is it really yeah. from The Departed? Yeah. Yes. When, when Who says that? Frank is asking. Well, when when Leonardo first meets. Um, Jack Nicholas, and he walks into a, the bar. Or Jack Nicholson. Jack Nicholson. Jack Nicholson. Did I say the golfer? <laughs> Nicholas, the golfer. Yeah. yeah. Right. He's fine. He's awesome too. Yeah. He's a badass too. Anyways, <laughs> he walks in. He doesn't order a cocktail. He orders a cranberry juice. And we don't need to fast forward from. Well, fast rewind to what I said. And there you go. <laughs> I'm gonna remember that. <laughs> You, you What's know, the matter? You got your period things, or something? Funny things not to say to your wife. Oh. Well, the funny thing was in that movie is <laughs> two guys asked him that, right? Didn't the didn't the hard ass or the one of the one of his guards or whatever yeah. bouncers say, "What's the matter? You got your period?" Yeah, they, they read. <laughs> and then he comes by a couple of minutes later. He's talking. And he's cranberry juice. What's the matter? You got your period? And it's like, oh, yeah. They, they used it twice in there, didn't they? Right. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It was yeah. like just a couple minutes apart, which made it even funnier. Right. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. His, his uh, second guard, something. Uh, the, yeah, one of his bodyguards is the main, s- main. His like second concierge kind of dude or whatever. 
the like Russian dude? Oh, the Irish dude. The Sigliari. No, I don't remember. I know, but I can't. Yeah, I, 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 can't. I can visualize him too, but I don't know the character yeah. so well. That reminds me of a story that I maybe shouldn't tell. I don't know. No, it's too but late. You can't lead in like that okay, and so stop. <laughs> you already sold it. Me so and my brother and our wives were all hanging out together, and me and my brother say whatever we want half the time you can't we're just imagine. being brothers being goofy and end up somehow talking about getting it on and so uh like wrestling I, no sex and then I tell, with your brother i somehow asked my and she's gonna hate me for this but mm. i somehow asked my wife about like yeah let's do it and whatever you know idiotic thing to say and she's like i can't you know because of my thing and i'm like oh your thing and then carrie mm. my sister-in-law looks at her and she's like oh are you you too huh and um, my brother's like damn it you know as a joke so <laughs> they're both on their thing and well, they, they're they in sync they were mm-hmm. yeah but here's no. what you don't say to your wife and sister-in-law uh, as a funny joke I was like oh awesome you guys are cycling together <laughs> Cr- fucking crickets, crickets dude. Galore, my brother dude. like walks out of the room and laughs his ass off. And, and <laughs> he got to safety of, like, first, shaking his head at me like, "Whoa, dude, don't do it, you dude!" Did do that. And then they both are just like staring at me, like, <laughs> "You? Is that supposed to be funny?" I'm you like, are an animal. But in the back of my mind, I was like, "Well, if you weren't okay. on your periods, you probably would have laughed." <laughs> so when you say cycling, they went and did a hour cycling no, session no. together. Having the same week because they're so close. Like, that happens. Like it's spending, a thing that happens. Spending time together because they're so I don't close. Have time to explain pers- this to you. Proximity. Is that no, what you're saying? I don't know. It's I an think emotional it was just, thing. It was right? just happenstance that they were experiencing that at the same time. Right, but they say you know that people who are close, women who are close, right. will start to do it at the same time. Right. Over like know, after a few years, scissoring. No, mm. not, I call it squid kissing. Mm. But, mm. Uh, <laughs> but that's not what I'm talking about. Again, I'm talking about periods here. You've never heard of cycling? Yeah, like when you ride a bike. Uh, yeah, well, it's a menstrual cycle, yeah. but well, you don't want to ride it around town. Yeah. <laughs> and periods. Are, <laughs> I'm silently laughing. Period, periods usually Sorry. come at the end of a sentence. Right, yeah. so. It's the only thing that's a death us. sentence, is what it is. <laughs> Oh, wait. It's a weekly death sentence. Right? <laughs> weekly? No. Is that what they've been telling you? By a week-long death sentence. <laughs> yeah, a week long. No, but that's when it's safe, dude. You, just, yeah. you go through a lot of bedding and towels yeah. and shit, uh-huh. but yeah, like, rip it up. It's, you know, playground's open. Yeah, swishy swash. Right? <laughs> oh, just don't fuck. earn your red wings. Why did I tell this story? <laughs> <laughs> Now, is that a path through? My wife and my sister in law yeah. hate my cuts. <laughs> right? See, that's why I don't talk about my peeps. See, <laughs> dummy, you're going to catch on. Be but not your not your, right. your current wife and sister in law. It was your, yeah, it was yeah. Once it was your former wife. A long time ago. Oh, uh, yeah. In the galaxy far, that I never far away. I told you about. <laughs> yeah. You've been married before? No. <laughs> oh, I'm married to two people now. Yeah, but I don't know. That's big of me. What do you think that's big of me? You obviously do. <laughs> Real charmer. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> this sip is brought to you by water. Nice. Nice. H2O. I'm not drinking the beer like you guys tonight. There's water and beer. Why are you drinking beer? It's good for your <sighs> right. skin. Take my hey, take my doctor's advice. Drink heavily. <laughs> you is know that my, a Rodney Dangerfield? Hey, you know my doctor, Dr. Vinnie Mumbats. <laughs> Oh, I had a rough. I had a rough. I tell you, <laughs> that's as far as it goes. Sorry. All right, that's Lou. Good though. These are girls. I like it. <laughs> girls. This is Lou. <laughs> He's only the second generation of walking erect. <laughs> <laughs> what a great movie! Oh, uh, remember, son, you're a melon. <laughs> You've seen that movie, right, Adam? Well, I'm... back to school. Yeah, I, yeah, okay, that's what I yeah, thought it was. But I was trying to piece it together. Yeah. I saw that movie about 20 years ago. Right. <laughs> what would this hot tub be, be without bubbles? Hey, hey bubbles, hey, get bubbles. in here. <laughs> Actually, bubbles that, arises from the Right, yeah. Was that the first bubbles joke ever, do you think? Or? Probably. Oh, heavens no. Come no? On. Can't be. Like blowing bubbles? Right. It's better when she blows back. 
<laughs> he was a. Uh, his whole bit was like I get like his biggest thing like yeah. what sold him was like I get no respect. No respect. Yeah, I get no respect. I get no respect. No respect. I tell you. That's kind of what put him on the board. Yeah. Well, he ended up getting a lot of respect, but yeah. then he died. We're all gonna get laid. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> the way that he delivered uh, some of those lines was pretty sweet. Just so not. <laughs> he wasn't a great actor. No. But <laughs> just the no, way that was, he said I mean, shit was so great. His delivery. That's all it was. He didn't need to be a great actor. No. No. It was, was comic relief. And, you know, Rodney. catty shit. Well, he had a couple of movies where he took the whole movie himself, and he was the leading man and pulled it off, but I just, yeah. it was bad acting. <laughs> Whatever. It was good, though. Yeah, he was, yeah, he was a stand-up was comedian in a movie. Mm-hmm. Is what he was. He wasn't an actor. And now he's no longer with us. Yeah, that's a bummer. What you got there, buddy? That was a couple of years ago. I'm just checking stuff. Oh. Do you want to... Like your oil? Do you want to do... Nope, I just recently got a lube job, so... Hmm. Do you guys want to do the best of 2016? Oh, you were talking about yeah, that. Yeah, we can... We can Some best. We can, we can talk about that a little bit. You got some, what, well, I'm wondering, like, what were your favorite moments of um, 2016? Because hmm. there's... Okay, so there's the whole idea on Facebook and everywhere else like the 2016 sucked so bad oh, and I hate when that gets into people's heads and then they just everybody's in there were parts of it that totally sucked but the thing is every year is like that right to, to somebody they're losing somebody or they're you know shit's happening that's not what they like so obviously mm. every year could be like that for someone but there's just a bunch of people freaking out about dead celebrities which mm. you know I not happy they're dead or anything, but it's like I don't care that much about celebrities, I guess. I think the gooviest thing, I mean, I, I don't, everybody knows that it was just Carrie Fisher and then her mom passing away a day later. Man, that was it's intense. Very, yeah, that was very That's odd. That's a broken heart, dudes. Yeah, and she knew what was happening too. Cause, you think so? Well, I mean, it's. I mean, she it, probably was just so distraught that it maybe caused. Well, she was, the, what, 84? Yeah, 84, and Carrie was 60. Yeah. So and I yeah I, and I don't know if you can you can categorize it technically as a broken heart but it's it's a complication. I believe it. I believe people talk about that. Right? Yeah, like a, yeah. a husband dies a year after a wife or vice versa. Or, yeah, or sooner. I've heard, yeah. you know, I've heard stories of that before. Yeah, like it's, real life. Love is so strong that that's the idea. The bond cannot be broken. So that uh, brings to mind. I'm thinking. Well, what was great about 2016? Oh, you want to reverse this? Yeah, I wanted it to be like. Mm. Yeah, let's talk about Positive something that we liked. Feet. All right. Besides well, Christmas, we already talked about Christmas. Well, personally, yeah. for me, it was playing my first show with my my new band. Mm, nice. It's, it's your highlight. See, you nice. were there. I was. I loved it. You were there. I loved it. What What did you think about? It? I mean, uh, I wasn't. I mean, it was our first show. Why was it great though? Like, just, well, you got to start somewhere, right? Right. Yeah. Right. Get on the stage. You know, there's some technical difficulties and whatnot, and you know, we still got a little bit of gelling to do. And it's, you know, we gel in a in the studio when we're rehearsing just fine, but once you get in mm-hmm. a live setting, it's a different thing. There's distractions. People get nervous, or yeah, something and it's just happens. you just got to get, you know, you just got to get that, you know, that repetition going with playing live shows, so it doesn't bother you anymore. You know, it didn't really bother me, but when your monitor is going in and out because the fucking sound <laughs> yeah. guy doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> uh, yeah, it wasn't. And that'll happen. I'm sure. It, it's not like a premier venue when you're first starting out. But no, it was in Hastings at the, the Coliseum. Coliseum. <laughs> the Coliseum, Coliseum, Coliseum. No. That yeah, I think we've. Talked Anyways, about let's that. move on from that. I just wanted to mention anything else. Um, what else? Best for me. Um, I don't know. I don't have anything. I, I guess I could think of something, but I really I mean, That's a good about. one, though. I yeah. like yeah, that. That's not bad. That's pretty good. That's solid. Well, yeah. I, I don't have much. I mean, I, I started a new job, which is, which is cool. Well, yeah, that know. took a lot of stress off you, didn't it? It did, and it added some more back on. So, I mean, it was a give and take deal. It's not my ideal job, but it's all right. It's a good place. It's, is it less stressful? For, like, You're not working weird hours anymore. Well, well, that's just it. I mean, my my hours are pretty solid now, but it's a different stress now. It's not a like a sales goal type stress, you right. know, that's inherent with every sales job. You know, end of the month, all yep. that nonsense. But and, and you were talking about losing people, which is kind of ironic, because in my job, I watch. I don't say I watch. I see a lot of people leave our database due to death. Dead people? Oh, really? Yeah. 
and because we're these people that have these devices and we have to get them back and so i'll get a, a notification and there's a date of death and i was like oh this is like a a very small list of people that have to go through their first holiday without a significant or somebody mm -hmm. you know that was there every time for the past 80 years or whatever or even i mean there's even little kids <laughs> that pass away as well and it's just like oh yuck you know yeah. i feel bad for you because it's it's sucky you know you'll get through it and it'll be cool but this one's gonna suck so know? much for the best of talk <laughs> <laughs> sorry no, I, no, I, I, just, <laughs> yeah i didn't even, i well, really didn't okay. intend to tank it quite no, so it's, viciously it's all right. it's all right. but it just one kind of bing bing into the other and i just the other day i was kind of cognizant of that i was like oh fuck, you're dead yeah all right well you're not gonna be there oh so when you're looking at does it actually say oh this person is, well, I suppose it's like remove this person from the list. It's exactly. like what else happened, yeah. right? Yeah, because okay. I mean, it's it's you know, and it's basically just the, they've they've passed away. That's all I know. But you yeah. know, and because of the insurance companies and all that jazz, everything has to be documented. You know, all these dates yep. and whatnot. And and it was just like, oh, you know, after about six people, I'm like, oh man, <laughs> it's gonna <laughs> out east. It's gonna suck. Well, it's yeah. better than being a mortician. Oh, I can't imagine. <laughs> I can't imagine. Wow, that would be messed up. That's that's a special person there. I just I think they're weird. Something. <laughs> yeah, right? you definitely have to be a different type of person. Yeah, yeah. or just so level that it doesn't affect you. I don't and know I'm, that's possible. I'm pretty or, confident that it's all, like, phantasm. You know, it's all some alien goings on in the background, you know. They're shipping <laughs> off the dead bodies. You think you have to bodies. be kind of a, like a... Like a cut off kind of like a almost like a sociopath to be able to do that really? I don't know Skizzo that's a good question no, no that's totally different like a sociopath can, is able to like do things without feeling schizo is like hearing voices and blah 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 but like like a sociopath like they they can they can pretend they have emotions but they're just doing it to get something out Playing of somebody. a role yeah to like get, when I beat off to get something yeah <laughs> like to get something out of somebody else yeah. to benefit them <laughs> So, like somebody that like is a mortician, I would I would imagine they're pretty void of any yeah, yeah. like connection to like somebody yeah. they're cutting open. Right. Yeah. You got to detach. You just or they're just like this connection to like my family is more real than the connection I have. Like I didn't really know the guy. I'm just cutting him up or you know re. Especially if you're doing an autopsy and you really have to dig into it. Like a mortician I usually, couldn't do it. I couldn't do any of those because I would get way too like connected. A, well, an autopsy has got to be worse than being a mortician because being a mortician, you're you're kind of doing some certain things to like help, I guess. Prep them up. Yeah, you pretty them up a pretty little bit. Pretty them up, and you have to like drain blood. But like, if yeah, you re, if you're fluids and all that happy crap. Like if you if you had to go into a body as a as a as an autopsy person, you're really like cutting open like chest bones and taking the plate out and getting in there yeah. and like like we, we have to figure out the cause of death and that right. that's a little bit more than i would say a, a, than a mortician goes through yeah because you'd have to have a that's a two different fascination you know, i would barf they're two different things right <laughs> a big time yeah I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah because two different jobs yeah right? oh without question yeah because most of the time morticians don't enter the body in any way other than you know the Right, because if they already know, then they're not going to have somebody doing an autopsy. Usually, right. an autopsy is like, "Well, why did this person die?" Yeah. They really got to get down to the nitty gritty. Yep. You know. Yeah. Versus, you're just dead, and I need to make you look all right, right. and not stink bad. You know, if it were something in the brain, and you're cutting open the the head cavity there, and you're like, <laughs> <laughs> cutting the skull cap, slide off. the brain out for a hot minute. Ate hey, his brains with, the, with some fava beans and a nice bottle of Chianti. <laughs> so I watched. <laughs> What was it? Uh, the Autopsy of Jane Doe. Is Why? Hmm. It's a movie that just came out. Oh, I thought it was like no. some YouTube I it the autopsy. Yeah, it was I movie. watched it on New Year's because I was sick. Okay. Mm. And uh, <clears throat> there's two guys. Emil Hirsch is in it, and the dude that plays, <clears throat> I forget his name. He was uh, the bad guy in uh, X-Men. With He's the one that turned Wolverine into Wolverine, that dude. Yes, oh. I know who it is. So yeah. those two are acting as father and son. In the, the old guy. Uh, yeah is an autopsy group and they get this Jane Doe in and they really get Jason into Bourne it too. and th that movie was mm -hmm. I mean that was a really graphic movie and I like I'm not good with that stuff but I it's kind of a uh, horror movie mm -hmm. and they really get deep into the, like everything cutting into and I'm like just <laughs> you just make the sound <laughs> shit I'm just like, their faces. Like, it's yeah. actually a pretty good watch though 
But All yeah, right. Like, so my favorite things. That yeah, hopefully yours are a little Look more at upbeat. How morbid this turned out. <laughs> right? Sorry, guys. I love it. I think I'm like fuck. Let it go. <laughs> I I just wanted the morbid, and then I got to do a segue, which was completely off kilter, and I loved it. <laughs> so you you have some positives to no, add to this? No, I have just I have a bunch written down <laughs> because this was my topic, so I just wrote a bunch right. of shit down. But I one of my favorite things was uh, Dave Chappelle. Coming back? Well, and I, yeah, like he's back for real. Well, he did a stand up here too, right? Yep. Well, so my wife bought me tickets to, me and my wife go to see Dave Chappelle. One of my all time favorites. Love him. You know, I'm not a hater that was mad that he quit or whatever, or that he had to go away for a while, but I wanted him to come back. He's freaking hilarious. And I just had an all time blast. Watching that show was just freaking hilarious. And then, it just and I mean he has been doing stand up for I think a few years now like off and on mm-hmm. but for me it was just like oh he's back for reals now like, <laughs> I, mean, I need to see and he's thicker see, he's ripped it's ridiculous right. like I'm, and he still smokes cigarettes all the time which is like <laughs> that's, not, that's not good but god bless you otherwise he's pretty good you want to hear the rest of my list yeah go over yeah. briefly uh, well I have the dead Monkey is the best of 2016. Not in the way that it, it's dead, but the response to it I thought was kind of comical. I don't know what you're talking about. The, Me neither. It's the, okay, so in Harambe, you have to re- relate to everybody here. Yeah. Harambe is his name. Who? Harambe. Harambe. He the monkey. Killed at the Cincinnati Zoo. And lots oh. of. Here's why it's the best of 2016. Dave Chappelle has a joke about it. And then the guy from Saturday Night Live, Michael Che, has a joke about it. And, well, I mean, it's it's not a joke about the ape getting killed, but it's a joke about, like, the the reaction to it. Like, oh, people, it's the one that got shot because a little kid fell Yeah, in. a little All kid right. fell in. <laughs> so the things they say... Thank the you, jokes, Steve. The That's what I'm here made, for, baby. The jokes that they made about uh, the reaction to it were highlights for me. I was like, that completely <laughs> explains society right now like yes it's sad they had to kill the ape but for real it's not the worst thing that's happened it's a little kid in there like what the fuck are you yeah do do? you want to watch a little kid dismembered by a gorilla so the jokes would make you (laughs) would make a better day for you and then there was like you know I stand with Harambe t-shirts and all this shit it was it was a lot of farcical Harambe stuff (laughs) because it's like what's more important you know so that was a good one for me and that joke was great <laughs> well, I didn't. I'm not gonna say the joke. You gotta go out and a, see the jokes. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, you know, Michael Che as a Netflix thing, and Dave Chappelle. I think you can see him tell the joke on the Saturday Night Live monologue. Okay. So that's pretty good. Yeah. That's pretty good. And then uh, I thought also the most epic, best of all time podcast broadcast ever was my other highlight. So starting this out was pretty cool. We got our uh, dipped our toes in the water, and <laughs> then we we're hitting it live in 2017 i'm moving my d in the water next is it well (laughs) is it going to be one of those where they get there and it's like oh now the water's really cold you just just gotta go just right in d is otherwise yeah because you've we've all been in the cold water right you get up to your your legs at a certain point that's when you stop yeah and you stop and you're like oh shit my shit's next you're getting a lot of messages (laughs) my shit is next right and i'm going in i'm all in so you just fucking go in I yeah. will draw that shit and out. And then you like, go, you you forever. dip the head. I mean, I'm not talking about this head. No, no. You're going this all down. Under. This, all, you're going all, all under. Yep. That's the way you got to do it. Yes. Right? Yep. Do you do it so that, like, that's the last part that goes in, though? Because your feet are in the water and then you go head first. So that really well, you're depends like a, on how a you're into the water. shape. Don't, and then your D goes don't in. Don't walk in. Just run in. Run yeah. in or jump in. Or, yeah, right. I can't do I it. I try to dive I, a little bit so that I'm actually screaming underwater. You're making can't it. hear me. <laughs> You're making the you're making the suspense worse when you walk in slow. <laughs> Little scream bubbles coming up. <laughs> Coach, my, we got drinking. My nuts. Be. What's he got? Shrinking. Oh, How are your nuts? My nuts. Other thing than that, I went on two vacations this year. That's yeah, awesome. Did. Down to the Keys and then uh, Vegas. Keys my ass. Couple Wait a second. Spots, when did you dude? go to Vegas? Oh, I remember. Never mind. <laughs> I remember. You didn't. I don't think I was disapp- I disapproved of how little you gambled. I thought, didn't I? 
No, there was one night I was by myself after Tony left because I was there for an extra two days than he was. It's awesome. Alone in Vegas, <clears throat> I would ruin my life. Mm. And I was just ripped. <laughs> <laughs> Bleeding out of his eyes. And I probably... Uh, <laughs> hit me. It didn't go well. Probably hit dropped me. about <laughs> seven or 800 on a blackjack table in one time. Oh. Nice. Blackjack. And I realized at 6.30 in the morning, I was fucking hammered and needed to go to bed. <laughs> yeah, that's when you figured it out. <laughs> I was going to say, you know, if you'd have figured <laughs> that out just 10 minutes earlier, you'd have been in good shape. Yeah, that's happened to me. <laughs> I've been, luckily, I've been to Vegas three times, and each time I only spent like 400 bucks, besides the flight and the hotel. Oh, thrifty. Yeah, but well, I, I brought it, and I planned to spend it, but I would win money, and I'm like, mm. oh, then I spend all that, and that was awesome. Well, there you go. Yeah. That's the plan. It was a wiener in Vegas. <coughs> People would be like, well, you lost 400 bucks. I'm like, if you go to Vegas and don't expect to lose 400 bucks, <laughs> don't fucking go. Yeah. Like, you're not ready. <laughs> I only do that about once a year, though. That's, yeah, that's of course. Thing. It's it's pretty fun. Yeah. <laughs> Are you going to be okay? I'm, gonna, well, I'm dying. Are you going to be okay, Lance? Mm, I'm fine. You want a massage? <laughs> That'd be perfect after this. <laughs> okay, well, just lay down on I'm the couch. I'm going to massage my, your throat with my penis. Oh, yeah. that's uh, <laughs> Now I'm getting a little uh, boner. And with that... Uh, is it the end? It, is the flummery? Is it flummery? Is is flummed itself out? We're wrapping it up. That right. was true flummery. <laughs> no. For fucking real. No, that, that was, was flummery. That was the definition yes. of flummery. <laughs> flummery. And we're flummery. out. Good night, yeah. everybody. Wire. I got a cobra stick for a necktie. A brand new house along the roadside, and it's a made out of rattlesnake hide. Got a brand new chin that baby built on top, and it's a made out of human skull. Come on, take a little walk with me, baby, and tell me who do you 